Hi, everyone. Welcome to Women Entrepreneurs Radio, and I'm your host, Deborah Bailey. Really glad you could join me today. And um, if you're listening to this on uh, Podomatic.com, you can also find this show on iTunes. Just search for Women Entrepreneurs Radio and subscribe. And also, if you you know want to rate the show, that's great too, and share it on social media. So that's a wonderful uh, way for you to find out more about um, the show and share it with other people that you think will enjoy it. Also, Facebook.com slash Women Entrepreneurs, another place you can stop by. And the blog, WomenEntrepreneurSecrets.com, is also a wonderful place to stop by for articles and announcements of interest to women entrepreneurs. There's also links to listen to the shows there as well. And if you're interested in being a guest, that's another place to come uh, to download the show guidelines. Or also, if you want to contribute any blog posts or anything, all the information is right there. So make sure you stop by. And also on uh, my website is DebraAdaily.com. You can stop by there and learn more about me and, and the show. And also uh, my books and different things that I'm up to. So um, that's a good place for you to stop by. And I hope that you do. Okay, so um, I want to get started today with my guest, uh, Lakeisha Rose. And she's the founder and CEO of Rose Phillips Online, a multimedia platform that showcases the best in Chicago living. Leticia's background in interior design combined with her culinary skills and social know-how made her frequently sought-after guest for talk shows. Leticia launched her lifestyle site, Rose Phillips, in 2016 to help bring the Chicago land community the most empowering, engaging, and culturally relevant content possible. There's something for everyone, including style, food, drink, travel, home decor, and even family life in the second city. It's a place where readers can get a unique look at exciting Chicago businesses, including interviews, behind-the-scenes tours, and sneak peeks at upcoming collections. So welcome, Lakeisha. I'm glad to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm looking forward to speaking with you and excited to be on your platform. Oh, thanks so much. You know, this really sounds terrific, and I've taken a look at it. It just looks wonderful. And, you know, I was just wondering, how did you get started? You know, you have background in, in design and, and lifestyle things. And, you know, what was your journey to get to um, to this uh, point? You know, the answer really, it's always in the journey. That's the answer. <laughs> you know, you never know. You never know where you're going to end up. I remember in my little one-bedroom apartment back in 2002, and I started an interior design company and started working for builders and um, went off and, you know, then <clears throat> was able to spawn off onto my own and creating my own uh, design company for large developments. I mean, my God, I think in the city of Chicago alone, Working with developers, I've done probably just under 700 interior units, mm. and the market crashed. Mm. Well, after the market crashed, you know, 2000, you know, I think it was 2006, 2007, the good mm -hmm. thing is I had work that continued me until about 2010. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, well, i got to do something different. So I love to cook, and I decided there was no other lifestyle expert in the city of Chicago. So I picked myself. <laughs> so I said, I'm going to do it. So what happened was it was not as easy as, as, as I'm, I'm making it out to be. I mean, I called every single network and, and sent out all of these, you know, submissions as uh, what you, you hope that they'll find interesting to go on television. Mm -hmm. so I remember one time I practically begged the entertainment producer of WGN, which is a, you know, a great TV station here in the city of Chicago. She finally took a meeting with me. She gave me an opportunity. And I, so she gave me a segment. And to this day, I think that she is probably one of the best people I've ever met because she didn't make it easy on me. Mm -hmm. She would give me segments to do. I had to go out and buy all this stuff myself oh, <laughs> because wow. this was all my, you know, my creativity. Yeah. And then within about a year, I was picked up by a company out of New York. And what they do is they book all of these segments with local talent, local lifestyle experts. Mm -hmm. So that continued on for probably another two years. 
After that, I received a phone call from someone that uh, wanted to partner up and sort of create this platform because it went from me being a lifestyle expert to me actually being guest host mm -hmm. for this other local television station. Mm -hmm. So I was representing all these national brands, and I said, you know, no one is representing the city of Chicago in our small business at all on one platform. Mm -hmm. So we worked together for about a year to create Rose Phillips Online. And so basically what we did by bringing together, we had to come out different. We couldn't just have a magazine. Mm. That's the thought process. That's what took us so long to figure out exactly how could we zero in. Mm -hmm. So we created a platform that showcases local business in digital and broadcast events. So basically, and this is, the millennials go crazy for this. I mean, alone, what's so funny about this, when we have officially launched this in March, between March and April, I had like about 5,000 views, which to me was, I was excited. So uh, we went from April to May, we had about 44,000 views. Wow. And then, no, I'm sorry, March, April, April, May, yes, April, uh -huh. May, 44,000 views. This month alone, <clears throat> we have 89,000 views on our social media platform. In one month, we've more than doubled. <laughs> it's incredible. What it, it, so it told me two things. People are interested in local, local businesses from wherever it is that they live yeah. on a digital and broadcast event platform. Mm -hmm. So we go here, we create this beautiful branded video about we have four different shows, wine, food, um, a city guide show, and a radar show that features more of like our nonprofit and, and luminaries that you want people to know about in the city of Chicago. Mm -hmm. But what the most interesting factor about it is when we'll go to this company, we'll, we'll go to these events, and we'll create these videos showcasing these companies. But when we get there, we do a Facebook Live event. Mm. That alone, I remember I was with Art Smith. He's a famous world chef. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to a private lunch with him the other day here in Chicago. I said, Art, you know, I want to do a Facebook Live, tell people about your new restaurant, uh, Blue Door, and I want, you know, I want to tell people about it. Mm -hmm. So since Art is famous, I... I I spread this out across the world rather than locally. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It got 47,000 views in two days. Oh, my gosh. And it's amazing. And it was an unscripted, fun interview. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what people are interested in. Magazines are fantastic, and they definitely still have their place, at least in my mind. I still love a good magazine. Mm -hmm. But in order to get your name out there with local small businesses, you, you, it's, it's, you have to look at digital platforms much more seriously than you ever did. Yes, I agree. 2019, yeah. you know, yeah. is going to be, by 2019, 80% of our news is going to be on digital platforms. Wow. And that's not far. <laughs> no, not far at all. Not far at all. You're exactly right. Wow. So, wow, so you, you really went step by step to get to this point. You know, I, I think it's, it's so important to note that as well because I know um, a lot of people may be looking at the lifestyle um, space and thinking, oh, I just have to launch a blog, I can do this, I can do that, and magically it's going to um, happen. But I think your experience shows that really it is a step by step process and that you really had to build on each thing that you were doing and have a plan. It sounds like in mind that, you know, where I at least want to get to in the next step, it wasn't just something that magically just happens, um, as some people, I think, believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, and that's the thing. And sometimes I'll read these stories about um, entrepreneurs, and they'll tell you how they got started, mm -hmm. but they skip the middle. Yes. They yes. skip the middle. Yes. And, and let me tell you, it, everybody wants to be where you are, but the result is, will they do what you did to get there? Yes. This was, this was a true exercise in futility. I mean, I got gray hair. I lost sleep. I hit the brick wall three times and said, what the heck am I doing and why am I doing it? Right. 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 Why am I doing this for? I can't even tell you. And, and that's the thing I try to tell people. And I say, being an entrepreneur is not easy. Yes. It is one of the hardest things you will have to do if you want to do it and if you want to do it right because you cannot give up. Right. You cannot. Exactly. But now, now that I'm here, after all of what we went through, because we created something that has never been created. 
We had no platform. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, I'll, I'll share this information. Because we were creating something that had never been done before in the city of Chicago, this, is, this ideal is not original. Mm -hmm. It's just how it's packaged. Yes. You see videos all the time on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But because I could not explain how – I couldn't explain this in the beginning because I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I couldn't have investors. I couldn't explain. Mm -hmm. So I had to fund yes. this whole thing myself. Wow. And trust me, I have made some mistakes along the way. Mistakes cost money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now that I see the response of people and small businesses, and they see that, um, that this is something that is worth viewing, so much so I'm, I'm going to be speaking with people in the mayor's office this week because they like our small business idea. Mm -hmm. You know, it's something it, – I, I just – tell people if and and oh and along the way as entrepreneurs if, if you're listening I'm sure you'll have this too you always get advice from other people who aren't entrepreneurs <laughs> yes but they're always going to tell you how you how they think you should do it yes you kindly That's smile true. and you ignore them <laughs> <laughs> months or, or, you know, six months or whatever contract that you did 
once you have this video, you can play it next year, the year after. It's going to constantly be promoting your business. It's like a, it's like a, like a, it's like a commercial, basically. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just been created for you online. And how, how many small businesses, even in your community, would love a commercial that ran continually on national TV? Right. What we're doing is basically the same thing because the web, the the internet is international. Yes, exactly. That's so true. Yeah, and I think the small business owner who may not have the funds to be able to do those big things and and try to reach everyone, um, you know, I think sometimes they they don't see that yes, the internet is there and you do have these options and you you do have more of a level, let's say, playing field in that respect mm -hmm. than we might have had before. You know, I I think for some people they're still thinking how it used to be. Um, uh, because I, I noticed that with podcasts, and sometimes, at least for a while, it was, you know, you'd mention, well, I'm doing this internet radio show or podcast, whatever you want to call it, and they're kind of thinking, oh, well, how many people are listening at one time and all that? And I'm like, well, this is always here. For sure. And most people are listening later, they're downloading it. And I know how I listen on iTunes to different podcasts. It's not just in this moment. It's what is it's always there and it's always marketing for you, it's always selling. And that seems like a hard concept for some people to grasp. That, for, yes. Yeah. For, well, think of it like this. Now, I don't know about your TV habits, but my TV habits, I don't have appointment TV anymore. Right, yes. I spend most of my time, and I can't believe I'm going to admit this, but we're talking to women, so it'll be fine. I watch all of my horrible reality TV getting ready in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, since my husband calls it superfluous pap, Anyway, I might as well be in the toilet watching it. I'm not on the toilet. I'm in the bathroom, people. You know? <laughs> so I just go down my reality TV while I'm getting ready, and it's, it's the same thing with podcasts. Right, it's the yeah. same thing with, with the videos that we do. Mm -hmm. And another thing that we did, we made them cost effective. We know we're dealing with small businesses. Mm -hmm. I, the reason why I wanted to really create Rose Phillips was – in addition to us, you know, featuring these videos um, in digital and broadcast events, but no one was an advocate for small businesses here in Chicago. Mm, you know the old yeah. saying, we're greater in numbers? Yes. That was said for a reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and when you have us on, and when you have the local businesses all on a website, our platform and content just keeps building and building and building. It never goes away. Mm -hmm. How many people do you know that look, look at the Chamber of Commerce when they're coming to a city and saying, hey, I'm going to go to the local Chamber of Commerce, which we have several in the city of Chicago, uh -huh. because there's all a bunch of neighborhoods. Why can't you go to one website yeah. that has everything? Mm -hmm. You know, not many people go to Chicago.org um, when they're coming to the city of Chicago. They want to. They will Google something and they want to go to something more exciting. Yeah. It's more exciting than videos. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's another reason why I created Rose Phillips because I wanted all of our small business to be on one platform because we're greater in numbers. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's that's perfectly. Um, describes it because but so many small businesses are just trying to be heard, be seen, and everybody's trying a thousand one different things. But then when someone's looking for a service or a product and they still don't know that you're out there, that's exactly <laughs> right. That's exactly that's right. They don't know that you're out there. Yes, exactly. That's the thing. So this seems to me to be a perfect way. For people to say, oh, you know, especially even if you're traveling to the city. I mean, if I was going to visit, then looking at this is like, wow, you know, you're seeing all these different things and, and just getting a totally different idea of what the city is about than kind of going to one of those kind of touristy uh, <laughs> sure. It's so true. It's so true. Because a video gives you a different emotional response. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes yeah. it, it. It goes into your subliminal mem memory, and it never goes away. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so. Exactly. Yeah, and I think how people want you know the stories told, and and looking at the images, and and really that is the thing that really gets gets your attention because you're looking at these pictures, you're looking at the videos, you're like, oh, I I want to know more about this. So now I'm going to read this story about them, or I'm going to look at these images of this delicious food, and then now it's like, oh, I'd like to go visit this uh, place and see more. So all of that really creates an experience 
Exactly. Uh, yeah, and and that's definitely what you want uh, people uh, to to come away with. So, what you know, as, as you're going forward with this, um, you know, how, how do you see this continuing to grow? What are your your plans for this? I see it starting to go from city to city. I mean, because if we can make it in Chicago, yes. we can make it anywhere. <laughs> True. <laughs> Chicago can have that. New York, it's just not all their own. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my goodness. So I that's think, what yeah. I see. You know, I mean, when we go to places, you know, my husband and I will go to Michigan for the weekends and go to these beautiful, quaint towns. And, mm -hmm. my God, could they use a Rose Phillips? You know, and it's just, and what you do is when you're connecting this platform from one large platform, it's just, it just, it, it multiplies and it grows and it grows. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's really the plan. Wow. That would be really fantastic because then you could get all these little individual cities or communities or areas or however um, that, that you, um, you know, decide to implement it and, and just have that people can really know what's there. Exactly. Because a lot of people don't even know what's in their own town. <laughs> what's in their own town. It's so true. It is so true. I mean, yeah. you know, we go to this cute little town about two hours outside of Chicago, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's kind of hard to find everything that's going on. Yeah. You know, except for when you go to the little bed and breakfasts where they have, like, 6,000 brochures mm -hmm. of, you know, on this little marquee or, or you know, thing that's, telling you what's happening, who right. reads that? Yeah, you don't, you don't really. You know, who you reads really. that? People want to see instantaneous, what's, look on their phone, they want to see it mm -hmm. instantly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I said, you have looking at your site and everything is just beautiful and really well um, described and beautiful videos and everything like that. You know, with, with the, the social media, of course, it, it's another dimension as far as marketing and, and a lot of times small businesses kind of feel like, oh, my gosh, how can I keep up with everything? You know, when, when with, with your uh, social media plan, um, has it been challenging to make sure that you're everywhere that, that your um, your viewers are? Well, what we're doing with that, you mean as far as, um, I guess like. keeping up with all the platforms or deciding which platforms you think are the best ones for you. Okay. Well, what we're doing, well, that's every small business's problem. Yes. You know, you know, the thing is, with small businesses, even though we're all different mm -hmm. on the surface, but underneath the surface, it's really what there, there's just an outline of how every small business is created and most likely is the same. Mm, you know, yeah. we're, we're a small company and we're growing. There are things that I even see with my company. Okay, we need to add this. Mm -hmm. We need to add that. You know, so what I have four hosts that host each show. Mm -hmm. And what I do, I go out and do like a fun Facebook Live event. Like we're doing um, – Another one this week with this great local workout company that uh, we're going to be featuring. So I definitely feel that right now I handle all of the social media. Mm -hmm. Now, I can't wait to the day I give that away. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it, it's what – and all, all small businesses and entrepreneurs know. You don't know your company until you've done every single job. I remember when we went out, so, so yes, just to answer that, you all have, every company has growing angles um, that, that you see that that branch needs to be longer, or more fulfilled, or, or something like that. Absolutely. I hope that answered your question. Yeah, I, I think so, because what you're saying, and it makes perfect sense, is that all, all small businesses really have, have these challenges and, and ways, okay, how am I going to use all these platforms and how can I use them to my benefit um, I think as opposed to trying to be everywhere if everything doesn't really suit your plan and where you're going you know you already have an idea of where, you, where you're growing your business so it's not like you have to be on every single platform that doesn't line up with that I see what you're saying yeah. I yeah. would I would recommend and I was told this by um, uh, a, com a big company that builds websites mm -hmm. is pick three mm. Pick three and, and stay there. Uh -huh. um, I, I, you know, I've been told, you know, Instagram is huge. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we definitely could fulfill our, make our Instagram part larger. Mm -hmm. But that's, 
that's what's growing. I mean, yeah. you know, we're into our fifth month, and our numbers are fantastic, but that's just what's growing. So they say Instagram, Facebook, and uh, and Twitter. And I know sometimes we'll actually even incorporate a little bit of Snapchat or Periscope because, again, we're ours. We do a lot of broadcast events. Yes, and that's that's really um, a great idea. I think to to bring people into it who may be at some other location. It's it's you know like we were talking about the TV. It's it's not like you have to make an appointment to. Oh, I'm going to sit here and watch X. You know, you could be anywhere and participating in one of your events. For sure, um, for sure. Which is really pretty exciting when you think about how much things have changed in such a short time. Well, you know, in, in addition to that, like our launch party, for instance, we're doing, you know, we sent out the normal invites to people and mm -hmm. this and that, and, and, and my PR uh, person is, you know, calling the media and all this and that. Well, we wanted to take it a step further. In addition to us doing the launch party, I just didn't want to do a launch party with Rose Phillips, hey, everyone, come all. Right. We, we, the reason why we created it was because we wanted to support local community commerce, mm -hmm. so we added a charity aspect into it. Mm -hmm. I'm a big lover of animals and dogs, and so one uh, uh, local charity that I've been supporting for many years, 100% of our donations are going to this party, are going to um, – uh, this charity, one tail at a time. Mm -hmm. So what we did, because we're digital broadcast, mm -hmm. we went and did an interview with them yesterday, a fun Facebook Live event. Hey, we're here talking to Heather, who is one of the co-founders, had a dog in there. And those are pretty casual. Those aren't as structured, but that's what people love. You know, people love just the casualness of just, you know, you're pe it's almost like you're peeking into something right? because it's not so formal. Yeah. You know, and so That's we were true. able to, so we did that, and that was another way of promoting, in which I see a lot of times businesses, when they're having events around here in Chicago, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. Get out there and do a Facebook Live as to where you are to tell people because mm -hmm. it engages them better. Mm, that's true. You know, we're true. at August 4th on our launch party, we're going to do Facebook Live all over the place. Wow. Telling people, here we are. Uh -huh. This is what we're doing. Again, because it, does, it gives you a different emotional response. Exactly. So please share where, where people can find you and also, you know, any, any other details about, about your upcoming um, launch party would be great, too. Yeah, we're going to be um, rosephillipsonline.com. Phillips has an S on the end. Um, our summer launch party is going to be August 4th here in Chicago, Illinois. It's going to be from 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. at a place called Zella Bar. It's 1983 North Clybourne Avenue. 100% of the donations are going to One Tail at a Time. It's a nonprofit, no-kill, all-breed rescue adoption center. And come and talk to us. Come and, come and see who we are. Come talk to me. Come talk to our team. And, and let us support your local business and digital and broadcast events. Mm-hmm. Wow, that sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun, actually, and, and being able to take it online and have people participate from, you know, they're saying, wherever they are, even if they're not there right now, you know, it's something that's going to make them aware. Exactly. Of, yeah, of what's going on in, in the city and what small businesses are there and, and really get people interested, um, you know, when they come there or even if they can work with some of those businesses from, where the, you know, wherever their location is. Cause, it's a circle. Yeah. yeah. It's an yeah. absolute circle. Yeah. I have people coming who work, who are, you know, work at the banks, presidents of banks that are going to be there to mm -hmm. be talking to other small businesses, and banks can be involved in what we do. It's really mm -hmm. like, you know that term that you hear of, like that, this, the, you know, the economy doesn't turn – um, it turns out like a slower place where you buy from the candlestick maker, they buy from the wood maker, all that sort of, you know, old school type ter ter terminology. If each person doesn't buy from one another, our economy doesn't turn. Exactly. And so that's why Rose Phillips, we want to be that conduit. We want to be that circle to mm -hmm. keep everything going. Mm -hmm. And that that's a really perfect way to describe it because it's, it's everything is interrelated. So exactly, yeah, yeah. What what you do over here with 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 these folks affects the next one and the next, and who they work, who works for them, and where they go now, and and you know they have money, they go and purchase from someone else, and it all it all works together. Um, so having that kind of view really gives people a better idea of how you know, working with small business and spending your money with small business and participating in your community, 
that just helps to lift everything up. So I think that's perfect. Absolutely, yeah. because without commerce, you have no community. Right. So, you have none. Right. So I'm trying to get people to stop being so separate and yeah. understand that Rose Phillips is going to be your platform, and the more small businesses we get on here mm -hmm. is going to be the better for everybody as a whole. Exactly. Everybody. Exactly. So, you know, when you work with small business, do you advise them, I guess, as far as, you know, if someone comes to you and they're not sure what they should do first and how they should participate on your site, you know, it sounds like you have people to help them to, to put together what they need to have to put on the site. Well, this is another thing that I know entrepreneurs will agree with. You bring uh -huh. on people that know more than you. Yes. <laughs> That's what you do. So my team, you know, we have a um, – we have an editor and um, the person that shoots it, and we have the host. They all know how to put together a show, mm -hmm. more so than me. <laughs> but, what they, but the guidance that I give them, I tell them what is important that people need to know, yeah. what, the what, why, when, where, how, mm -hmm. when you go in and, and you're, you're talking to a company. And, and the gift in that is truly in how your message is presented. Mm -hmm. you, you, everybody can edit but everybody's not great at it. Right. And I'm just, I just feel fortunate to have a great team who is, who, who is collectively, we do this together, and this is all really grassroots. And we're mm -hmm. saying, hey, we're going to make this company look brilliant. Mm -hmm. we're, all we want to do is make you look great, because when you look great, we look great. Right, yes. That's great. That's perfect. And, you know, for those companies there, people are listening in or, you know, hoping that uh, this will be expanding to your town soon. Just keep that in mind. Because Absolutely. That, that helps everyone. Everyone benefits um, when you have that kind of mindset. Right. Actually. And You're that's right. what we need more of. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely. I, absolutely. <laughs> we can't have separateness or right. separateness or something. Right. We have to work together. Exactly. That's, yeah. That's how everybody benefits. So that's some, that's an excellent, excellent point to make. So we're we're just about at the end of, of the show and, and this has really been so interesting. So are you do you have any final thoughts or, you know, anything you want to mention that may be coming up? Well, yeah, just, you know, the launch party and just keep watching, um, you know, any small businesses in the Chicago or Illinois area that want to participate uh, in Rose Phillips, please feel free to reach out, contact us on our website, and we'll get back to you immediately. And our biggest <clears throat> dream for this is just being an online advocate for small businesses. Wonderful. And I just, I actually have one more question. If you, if there's someone listening who is really wondering, oh, my goodness, I'd love to build a lifestyle brand. I'm not sure where to start, and, and they're really inspired by um, your story. You know, do you have any advice for someone who just may just want to start out and not sure what they should do first? Yeah, well, I will be very honest and, and, and brutal. I mean, <laughs> they're going to – this is not – this was never easy. This is still not easy. I, I got to tell you, it takes an, um, an enormous amount of work. It, is, it, it takes will that you don't even know that you have. You got to pull deep on those days that you ask yourself, why are you doing it? Because if you jump into something like this and you want to create something like this, knowing that it's going to, knowing that it's going to take a, a, a great deal of money, mm -hmm. time, will, and hard work like you've never seen it before because no one creating something like this will work as hard as you in the beginning. It just won't happen. Mm -hmm. And you just have to know that you can do it, and you just keep pushing, and you keep pushing. I can't sugarcoat it. I can't. <laughs> right. No, yeah. I think it's good not to. Yeah. Definitely. But if you believe in it, you will have a will or a fire that will burn inside you on the days that you feel like you want to quit. Mm -hmm. that, that fire inside you won't let you. Right. I, that I can guarantee you. <laughs> it won't, because <laughs> I tried. Right. <laughs> and you know for a fact. <laughs> it won't, no water, no nothing. <laughs> well, yeah, then you know this is something I have to do. Because exactly. Because won't let me go, and I have to 
move forward. And I, I think that's wonderful um, for you to share your, your honest opinion for um, those people listening because, you know, as I said, there are a lot of people who don't give that opinion. They don't, you know, they're not honest. They don't let people know what they're in for um, when they decide, oh, I want to do this. You know, right. they understand what's involved and, exactly. and just be committed to that. So I think it's great to hear from someone who's actually doing it, is, is, is on the journey and, you know, have given an honest and, and opinion, but then you can also see the rewards and, and oh, for see sure. how wonderful everything is, is looking. And, and I think that, you know, really must also be wonderful to be able to look and see where you're at and where you're going. I think um, it's just fantastic. I'm sure it gives you a fantastic it, feeling. <laughs> I'm so proud now. I'm yeah. so it's I'm so proud. I'm so proud that people like it. I'm so proud that our numbers have went up in the way that they've went up. It's just yeah. it was all worth it. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. all worth it. Yes, and that's what you want to be able to say. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want absolutely. <laughs> that is what you want. Uh, yeah. You want to you want to have that good feeling um that what you did you could see what you've accomplished. So, um Akisha, I'm so glad that you were able to be on the show. This was just wonderful. I said I love your uh site, your platform. It's just wonderful and, and I'm really glad to see entrepreneurs out here taking advantage of all the technology and putting that together and understanding how things are, you know, what direction things are going these days. I, I right. think that's really great. So, um, you know, much luck in, in, in everything that you're doing. And um, I definitely now feel like I like to visit Chicago. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. You have to. I mean, oh, my God. <laughs> great. Yeah, and then when you visit and want to know where to go, you go and roll spillets online. Yes. Dot com. Absolutely. <laughs> I wanted to just thank you for, for allowing me to sit on your platform for this time and just to talk and talk about women in, in entrepreneurial businesses. Oh, thank you so much. I, I really enjoyed it. I said I started this show for me because I wanted to meet other entrepreneurs. So yeah. It turns out that, you know, I've, I've met uh, Benny and, and everyone just has so much enthusiasm and just wants to put something out there that's really good and that, that's of service as well as, you know, when you can uh, make money and be of service and they want to put that together and, and do good uh, things out here. So everybody, um, you know, just shows that, that there's an entrepreneurial spirit that is really strong and, and it's encouraging to see that, um, you know, so it's an honor for me to always talk and to, to entrepreneurs and see what they're doing and how excited they are. So, you know, for thank sure. you again for, for taking the time to uh, be here and share um, about your platform. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deborah. So, everyone, um, I'm sure you enjoyed this show, so please make sure you share it on social media. Come to iTunes and look for Women Entrepreneur Secrets or Podomatic, or, of course, go to the website, womenentrepreneursecrets.com, and you'll find links there so that you can have different ways to listen to the show, and please make sure you share it and uh, share it on social media as well. So, once again, Women Entrepreneurs Radio with your host, Deborah Bailey. Really glad that you can join me today, and we'll see you again next time. Bye.